Here's the deal. If you get to the top of the tree, all the fruit from the bottom at the top is going to be there, son. So I don't need you focusing on cars and money and stuff. You're going to get that. I need you to focus on why you were born in the first place. Why are you here on earth for this particular time? What are you doing here? You need to tell you that you owe you something. I don't want nothing from you but for you to leave this room and know what you want. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want with your son and your daughter? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? Like how much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to drive? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. The reason why I speak with so much passion E.T., why do you speak with so, uh, so much authority? Because I'm talking about my life, not something that I read. I ate out of trash cans. You ain't got to start with the two-parent background. You ain't got to start with wealth. You ain't got to start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. You got rich kids who own drugs. You got rich kids who committed suicide. You got rich kids who, who don't know their purpose in life. It's not the hand that you was dealt, baby. It's how you play your hand. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous. E.T., you've been doing this for years. Why are you so nervous? Because the day you become content, the day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. And I ain't where I want to be. And I'm like, God, I ain't where I want to be. And he was like, you stop being a victim. I said, what you mean a victim? Well, it ain't my fault my mom got pregnant at 17. It ain't my fault my daddy wasn't there. It ain't my fault they couldn't get along. It ain't my fault. He said, boy, you, you grown. You ain't 10 no more. You, you, the decisions you make right now is up to you. You crying about something that happened to you when you was a kid. You ain't even no kid no more. You a grown man. Take full ownership. The stupid stuff you doing, your parents didn't make you play no video games. What you crying about? So what your daddy wasn't there? Your mama ended up getting married. What you crying about? He went to work every day. He never beat you. He never abused you. Your mama did the best she knew how to do. What you crying about? You grew up in a house. What you crying about? You've been lazy your whole life and now somebody told you you could make six figures and you go knock on the door a hundred times and your body say you a lie. You ain't never gave a hundred percent. In order to knock on the door a hundred times, you're going to have to get 120. Get up out of here. You can't do this. And you're going to have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new new. Every day when I wake up, I got all kind of demands. You got all kind of demands. And the reason why you're not where you want to be is not because you're not great, but you taking all other people's stuff before you spend enough time with yourself to get to know you and get to know what you want and what you should do. And so please raise your hand with me if you're saying, E, from this day forth, I make a commitment to myself in a way I've never made a commitment to myself before. Let me see your hands. I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight, I'm going to work, I'm going to press toward, I'm going to learn, I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. I'm not, I've, never seen, I've never seen all blacks play a day in my life. And if you watch some of my videos, I have all blacks in my videos. Why? Because they're what? They're winners. When you're a winner, winning spreads. So everybody, I got videos where I'm like, y'all, I don't really know how to show my passion. Somebody said, get the all blacks. Ah, ah. I'm like, yep, that's what I need, all blacks. Yep, yep, I need the all blacks. I need to, why? Because they say what I'm saying. They just said it in rugby. I don't say, I don't know. I'm like, woo, that's a violent sport. Their passion is all over there. Why? Because winners win. And I can't explain it to you, but you better stop making excuses and find a way to win. How do you do it then? E, we wake up and grind. Winners win. I focus more on winning than I focus on structure. I focus on winning. And when you become a winner, 
they start seeing you with winners. You, want, you know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Now, bro, I'm gonna say it again. Like you, somebody gave you a guarantee, thirty dollar, thirty day guarantee. In thirty days, if, that, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, in thirty days you got an attitude. You want your money back, but you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said you let you down. Until you get to that point, you let you down. Yo, people don't get it. Write this down. Your DNA is in your dream. Go to school for all these years and they never really show us the importance of dreaming. I said to my son, son, I gotta ask you a question, like, and I'm being serious. I said, do you believe you created yourself? I said, do you believe as a human being, not in a braggadocious way, but that you are the greatest level of all creation? And he's like, you mean like over a deer? I was like, yeah, deer. He mean like, you mean better than the eagle? I'm like, yeah, like an eagle. He was like, of course, because we can make decisions. We can do things. I said, okay, okay, okay. I just want to go back again. You don't believe you were created? He said, no, but you believe there's a, a higher power. He was like, yeah. And, and I said, okay, okay, okay. You believe as a human, you powerful. He was like, of course. I said, so as a human, do you believe you were just born to be in a relationship, have sex and have money and buy stuff? He was like, hmm, no, I guess it's something bigger than that, Dad. Why have you never gone after your calling? Why you spend so much time worrying about a relationship? Why you spend so much time, son, worried about money and cars and stuff? If you really believe what you just told me that as a human is something greater than that, then why aren't you on that? He was like, I don't know. I said, because here's the trick, son. If you get this and that, you still might not get you. Now, why, why is dreaming important? I don't care what level you get to. I need you to dream. I need you to focus on why you were born in the first place. Why are you here on earth for this particular time? What are you doing here? Anybody can buy a car, son. Animals get in relationships. Animals uh, uh, have sex and have kids. It, son, I, it's gotta be deeper than that. If you're higher than humans, then while you're here on earth, you gotta do more than what animals do. We gotta, we gotta go to work. We got to go to work because if I can get you to identify how much energy you put in others and in other people's dreams and I can get you to pull back and I can get you to do what you were born to do, what you were created to do. Whew. Now, why, why is dreaming important? I don't care what level you get to. I need you to dream, right? I need you to guys. I need you to spend a considerable amount of time dreaming every single day. Let me tell you why. I've noticed that the people who dream and those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. So if you were here and you like, I'm scared, whatever you do, do this for me. Do not sabotage yourself with fear. Fear is not real. That's something in your brain. Like it does not exist. How do we get over it? You get over it by dreaming of what you can be. Come on, y'all gotta hear what I'm saying. There are those of you in this room, you spend a majority of your life doing what other people want you to do. You don't even know who you are. And so even what you're doing, you're not doing at 120% because you're doing what somebody else wants you to do and you're not, that, you're not good enough to be somebody else. So I need y'all to do me a favor. I need, you to give, I need you to be selfish on the dream piece because what you have to understand is when you know who you are and you start operating that, you're going to start blessing people in a way you couldn't bless people before when you didn't really know who you were. See, this is the teaching the millennials need. This is what the millennials need, guys. The millennials have rushed right into what they thought we wanted them to have, and that's cars and that stuff. Why? Because a generation before, for some of us, right, it was a working class, or they were, they were in poverty, guys. And so the, 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 they grew up watching their family work hard to get stuff. And so now we're wondering why they just want stuff, 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 stuff. Because that's all they've seen in their homes. That's all they heard. They've seen their parents go out and bring, to buy nicer houses and get better cars than grandma had, better stuff. So I'm, I need you to be selfish on the first tier. And that's dreaming. I need you to be real selfish because you can't help anybody else. You can't do for anybody else if, you're, if you hurt. You, want, you know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Now, for real, I'm gonna say it again. Like, you, somebody gave you a guarantee, $30, 30-day 30 guarantee. 
In 30 days, if, that, if you don't make what they told you was going to make, in 30 days, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. Until you get to that point, you let you down. You've never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. You just said you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No, no more alcohol, not right now. Not, no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. So listen to me, there are those of you saying, I wanna be a millionaire, I wanna be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. Nobody ever told them to dream. Nobody ever told them that DNA is in their dream. We told them that their DNA is in their money. Thank you.